Shockbuster's debut was... Alright, alright, I'm only kidding. The Shield's debut back in Survivor Series 2012 came as a complete surprise, as we saw three men dressed in black rush through the crowd and assault Ryback, sending him crashing through the announce table with a triple powerbomb. No way! But it was awesome, and the best part, they did all of this while wearing turtlenecks. Yeah. Oh my God. Over the next couple of years, the trio of Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, and Roman Reigns went on to dominate the scene and fight for what they perceived as injustice, taking out big names like John Cena, Randy Orton, and The Undertaker along the way. Each member of the group would also become top stars of their own, winning a total of six WWE World Championships between them. Despite Rollins' past betrayal, Ambrose still has flashbacks to this day. The Shield made a full reunion on an episode of Raw on the 9th of October 2017. It will be interesting to see what lies ahead of the Hounds of Justice once Ambrose recovers from injury. The Nexus was a professional wrestling stable buried by John Cena. I buried you! Was a professional wrestling stable that originally consisted of eight rookies from NXT Season 1. Wade Barrett, David Otunga, Skip Sheffield, Daniel Bryan, Darren Young, Heath Slater, Justin Gabriel, and Michael Tarver. During a Raw main event match between John Cena and CM Punk in June 2010, the eight men appeared sporting matching armbands with the letter N, and began to wipe out everyone that stood in their path, including John Cena, which in hindsight, they probably shouldn't have. You just made the biggest mistake of your life. The referee, the commentators, the timekeepers, and even the ring announcer at the time, Justin Roberts, who has Daniel Bryan to thank for that. Destruction was left in their wake, and their debut left everyone watching that night in complete shock. The faction had so much potential, but unlike The Shield, they were poorly booked, which ultimately led to the Nexus disbanding just a few months after their impactful debut. Ronda Rousey has made such an impact with her arrival to the WWE, and she's been showing us all just why she's the baddest woman on the planet. Many were skeptical of how Rousey was going to perform in her debut match at WrestleMania 34, and whether she could make the transition from mixed martial arts to professional wrestling. But it's safe to say she certainly silenced those critics. Her match at the grandest stage of them all exceeded all expectations and was arguably the match of the night. Her athleticism in the ring, as well as her technical ability, demonstrated that she belongs in the business, earning the respect of fans will. Maybe Triple H should have teamed up with Holly Holm instead. Okay, Rhonda, please, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Those are the words when we were first introduced to the big red monster, Kane, at Bad Blood, in your house, 1997. Billed as this seven foot monster. The size of this human being. Where is that a human being? K 
Kane angrily made his way to the ring during the Undertaker's Hell in a Cell match with Shawn Michaels, and ripped the cell door off its hinges with his bare hands. God, he just ripped the door off its hinges! Before delivering a wicked tombstone pile driver to his older half brother. After finally making up his mind which direction to face, everything from the red lights, the pyro, and the eerie theme music ensured that we felt Kane's intimidate. Instead, we have Corporate Kane, or whatever he's supposed to be now. The, the big red joke, I suppose. Nowadays, the devil's favourite demon is actively involved in politics, and has recently won the Republican primary election for the mayoral seat of Knox County, Tennessee. Ain't that neat? Chris Jericho has been making history lately in New Japan Pro Wrestling by becoming the new IWGP Intercontinental Champion. I'm gonna eat with this title, I'm gonna sleep with this title, I'm gonna shit with this title. His WWE debut was one to remember, especially among all the millennials, and one that still gives me goosebumps to this day. It started with a countdown to the millennium, followed by the surprising reveal of Y2J, Chris Jericho, to deafening cheers. Even Jericho himself couldn't contain his excitement. And we even heard him use a word that only he says best, and that's idiot. Jericho would go on to have a very successful career in the WWE, capturing a total of 28 championships, including six world title reigns throughout his time there. If you so take it away, Jericho. You just made the list! Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please show your support by leaving a like and sharing this video, as it really does help us a lot. Don't forget to comment below too, and we will pin up the best comment. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a video from us. Lastly, for daily wrestling facts and more, follow all of our social media accounts, which are on screen and in the description. Thanks, and until the next video.